Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. At the beginning of the year, I ran a set of polls on Twitter wanting to get your best guesses on what you thought those of us in the spaceflight community would hopefully see in 2021. Looking back at it now, uh, boy, oh boy, were we off on some things, but some things you guys actually nailed. So I thought it'd be fun to go through the results of these quick and do a little review of what did and didn't happen based on these polls. Now, this is different than our Astro Awards, which we will also be releasing here at the beginning of the year. For those of you unfamiliar, Astro Awards are our annual celebration of the accomplishments of spaceflight and space science. But this video is just purely for fun to see how good we are at predicting things. Spoiler, we're not very good. So for those of you that caught the Twitter poll in the beginning of the year, there's a link in the description so that you can play along and see how you did on each one of these things as we go through them. And keep your eyes peeled to my Twitter feed for 2022's poll so you can play along next year too. Okay, let's get started. Three, two, one, First off, I asked you guys, what's the highest serial number of Starship we will see fly in 2021? And you guys nailed it. SN15 was indeed the highest number Starship we'd see fly, and 35% of you guessed that. Of course, the Starship numbering scheme wound up jumping around a bit, having seen SN9, SN10, SN11, and then SN15. But at the end of the year, here we are, and the highest Starship to fly was indeed SN15. So great job to all of those who guessed that. Next, I asked which of the following, if any, methane-powered rockets will be the first to reach orbit in 2021. And unfortunately, we were all a little bit too optimistic about Starship's timeline. 66% of the 9,118 people who voted thought we'd see an orbital Starship launch in 2021. And unfortunately, we also didn't see Vulcan or New Glenn fly either, meaning no methane-powered rockets reached orbit in 2021. Only 13.1% of you got that one right. So this will still be an interesting one in 2022. Next was, which of these new small sat launchers will make it orbital first this year? And again, the majority was wrong here, but rightfully so. This poll came out only two weeks after Astra's fourth launch, and they almost made it to orbit, and they had a rocket ready to go for their next try. But the first one to make it to orbit was Virgin Orbit, who made it to orbit on January 17th, 2021. So congrats to the 27% of you who got that one right. Next, we have a fun one. What's the biggest milestone SLS will hit this year? This one was pretty close, and you guys were all pretty pessimistic about SLS, which to be fair, ended up being kind of right. 33.8% got this one right. SLS wound up being fully stacked this year, but it's still awaiting rollout, which hopefully we will for sure see next year along with its launch. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm excited for the results of this one for next year. Next up was, what's the furthest milestone Starliner will hit this year? And I have to admit, my poll was kind of funny for this one. No flight milestones and none of the above are kind of the same thing here, really. <laughs> so for those of you that answered uh, one of those two, you would be correct. Can you tell I just randomly thought of this poll that morning and just threw it together? Uh, this next year's will be a little bit better thought out. As we know, Boeing had another rough year with Starliner. They got it all the way to the pad and into the launch countdown in August before the teams realized they were having major issues with the vehicle's valves, and they wound up rolling it back and demating Starliner from the Atlas V. With NASA shifting some of the would-be Starliner crew over to Crew Dragon missions, it's not looking great. I really hope the Starliner team can just figure this all out so next year's poll isn't so dreadful. This next one was awesome. It was the year of Mars missions, and I asked how many of the three Mars missions will succeed in officially beginning their missions at Mars, meaning proper orbital insertion and or safe soft landing, if those missions were to be landing. I'm really surprised the majority voted that all three will succeed, considering just how unforgiving Mars missions can be. But 47.9% of you voted that they would all indeed succeed, and you are thankfully correct. Kind of seems like our Astro Awards will be dominated by Mars missions this year, huh? Okay, now we get into some stats on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. And for this one, almost everyone wins. Because I accidentally had 
31 as two options. My bad. But the good news is, is that means a whopping 74.4% of you happen to nail the number of Falcon 9 launches this year. SpaceX smashed 2020's launch record of 26, which was the previous all-time high, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Especially seeing how they just knocked out three back-to-back-to-back -back -back launches right at the end of the year. The SpaceX steamroller is really hauling now. So then we asked, what will the Falcon 9's landing success rate be? 2020 was 92% successful in landing attempts, only two failed landing attempts. And this year, they knocked it out of the park with only a single failed landing of their 31 launches for a 96.8 success rate. And maybe what's even more impressive is that this was the first year they didn't have any missions where they purposefully expended a booster, meaning all 31 missions had landing attempts and only one of those failed. They're currently on a 26th consecutive landing streak, which is wild. And again, unfortunately, my poll wasn't too well thought out here because I missed 91 through 94% as an option. So a whopping 72.5% of you got this one right. I'll do next year's poll a little bit differently and it'll be way more accurate that way, I promise. Next one was maybe one of the biggest shocks of the year and that was which human landing system will win the contract for the Artemis program. And to my absolute shock, and I think most of the community's shock as well, NASA chose Starship as the sole winner. Of course, there was some protest from Blue Origin and Dynetics, but now that it's all settled, NASA is all in on Starship being the only lunar lander for the Artemis program for now, which is just simply wild. Big props to the 16.6% .6 of you bold enough to think NASA would choose only Starship. I definitely didn't see that coming. The next one, I made a bit of a false assumption when asking, will we see a fully recovered Falcon Heavy this year? It obviously assumed that we'd see a Falcon Heavy launch in 2021, and only then could we see a fully successful recovery. But unfortunately, there wasn't a launch at all. So the 26.1% of you who said no were indeed correct. Hopefully this poll will be valid for 2022 as there's currently five potential Falcon Heavy launches on the calendar for next year. It might be the year of the Falcon Heavy. Next up, we asked, will we see a super heavy test? And if so, what's the biggest milestone it'll hit? And I wish I included things like cryo proofs or static fires in this poll. So instead, only 4.6% of you answered this one correctly with no super heavy test since it never left the pad and those were the only poll options. Next, we had a hyper relevant question at the time of how far will SN9 make it? When this poll came out, SN9 was on the pad and its launch was pretty much imminent. After seeing the near full success of SN8, I think we were all pretty optimistic about this one. 80.2% of you thought SN9 would make a perfect landing. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but it did make it off the pad to Apogee and it did begin the flip maneuver. So really 13% of you got this one right. Man, those belly flop tests were so fun to watch, but I cannot wait for the booster launch and landing because that will be even more crazy. Lastly, we asked Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin's new Shepard who will fly a passenger in 2021. And again, the vast majority was off considering both vehicles launched a crew in 2021. So congrats to the 13.4% of you who saw that one coming. Overall, there was some incredible stuff that went down in 2021, and we'll get more into the party and celebration of those achievements in our Astro Awards at the beginning of the year. And one last reminder, if you wanna take part in next year's poll, and technically next year's video version of this as well, keep your eyes peeled on Twitter for that poll. It's only going to be active for a few days, so find me on Twitter right now and keep your eyes open. Next year's poll is going to be a lot more comprehensive and hopefully a lot more fun. So get ready and let me know if you have any ideas for it in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping make this and everything we do here at Everyday Astronaut possible. If you want to support what I do, head over to patreon.com slash everydayastronaut. And while you're online, be sure and check out our awesome merch for things like this, the Full Flow Stage Combustion Cycle hoodie. It's got an awesome schematic on the back, by the way. But also, check out our brand new Soviet collection things like our R7 and the RD-171, as well as the rest of our schematics collection or our future Martian collection. Lots of fun stuff at everydayastronaut.com shop. 
Thanks everybody, that's gonna do it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space down to Earth for everyday people.